Defend It is made possible by our Patreon supporters. Thank you. This is the internet. After watching the 2015 No Man's Sky reveal at E3, when lead developer Sean Murray cried real tears and captured our dreams, expectations for the game were flying high. But after a lukewarm release with a fraction of the promised features, No Man's Sky felt more like an empty movie set than a place where dreams come true. And this is the defendant, No Man's Sky. He says people need to remember that Hello Games only has 16 employees, and that if he is guilty of anything, it's being too mysterious. And while everybody's still hung up on a bungled launch, the devs have actually been quietly fulfilling all their biggest promises. stands accused of making promises too big to keep and bringing our dreams crashing back down from the sky to reality. And court-appointed attorney Gerard the Completionist Khalil is here to defend it. Defend it! All Rise Internet Court is now in session with the Honorable Judge Jesse Cox presiding. Please come to order and don't forget, my name's Ted. D-E-D. Oh all right, Ted, this whole trying to get famous on the internet thing is getting real tired. Yeah, I'm kind of over it. Oh, cool. All right. I'll have to come up with a new bid, I guess. Whatever. Okay, not important. Uh, hey, Mr. Internet. It's that time. Today, we're talking about No Man's Sky. Are you ready, my dude? You are the prosecution. Oh, I'm ready, Your Honor. And with a little bit of extra righteous rage that I might add, because this one is a doozy. <laughs> All right, Internet, we get it. You're angry. Let's just remember that we are still just talking about a video game here. Can you just let me have this, okay? Your Honor, as my first witness, I'd like to call a guy who just bought a home theater system and took two weeks off work to play No Man's Sky at launch. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Of course I do. The story needs to be told. Whoa, too serious. <laughs> All right, sir. And what is it that you want the people to hear? I want people to know what it was like to be betrayed by a fake Wizard of Oz type character on what was supposed to be the single greatest day of my life. Oh my God, it was the E3 thing, wasn't it? You believed the game was going to be something that it really, really wasn't. Well, yeah, but that E3 thing's only the tip of the iceberg. These guys were just letting people say whatever they wanted about their game, and then whenever someone asked them something directly, they'd just be all mysterious. Sounds pretty egregious. Yeah, you know what? That's the perfect word for it. Egregious. But you know what the most egregious part was? What was it? The letter Sean Murray put out, like, the day before the game came out, where he was just like, Just to be clear, the game doesn't really have multiplayer, and probably isn't as deep as you think it is, because then, when it absolutely wasn't, it felt like he knew he was letting us overhype the whole thing the whole time. Like, maybe he was thinking, We don't have to spend as much on PR if we just say nothing and let everyone speculate. That's why it felt egregious. And then you bought a giant home theater system and took two weeks off work thinking you were about to step into the infinite universe of your dreams, and instead, all you got was basically survival mode Minecraft without the building, a wonky flight simulator, and a bunch of misshapen, and sometimes, frankly, upsetting creatures that look like the leftovers from Baby's first Maya tutorial. Not to mention everyone who lost their files, which I rarely hold against a game, unless it gets, and I hate to say it again, but egregious. And again, that's precisely what happened. You know what? Exactly. Couldn't put it better myself. I still have so many leftover Slim Jims. That's actually pretty bad good. Bad farts. I got oh so many bad farts. Oh wow. Oh wow. Um. Get no 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 further questions, Your Honor. Get get your mm, get out of, get out of here. All right, Gerard, it's time for your cross-examination, but I swear to God, if he talks about farts one more time, we're shutting it down, Ted! Do you hear me? Loud and clear, sire. Wow, that's inappropriate. You actually don't address a judge by sire? Ah. Thank you, Your Honor. There will be no talk of farts today. What a great way to start the day, huh, Gerard? Do you have any questions for me, or... 
can I like go? Actually, yes. Uh, let's go back to that letter from Sean Murray. I think we can both agree that the bad press around No Man's Sky is a result of excessive hype and wild, unchecked speculation. But do you really think that's the game's fault? Uh, kinda, yeah. Sure, but in that same letter, Murray was careful to repost every piece of official press for the game, right? Well, yeah, right at the top, actually, but that's still no excuse. The stuff he said in interviews, which he also covered in the letter by linking to community-made lists of actual features alluded to in any candid press coverage. Okay, fine, but there's still a bunch of stuff that I wasn't there at launch. Though over time, it might become some of those things through updates, which is also what he said in the letter. And isn't that exactly what happened? How the heck would I know? <laughs> I'm sorry, that just sounds a little odd to me. Why don't you know whether or not any of these features ever came out later like he promised? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I stopped playing the game after like two weeks. Really? Then how can you say that you were betrayed if you never even waited to see if they made good on their promise? Oh! Oh my Order! Order! Come on! Settle down, I'm sure he was having a real rough time. Nice one, Saya. <sighs> okay, uh, is that it, Gerard? Yep. Internet? The prosecution rests, Your Honor. Tight. Okay, uh, Ted, have Gerard start calling his witnesses. At once, Jesse. Gerard, you may now start your official- Oh my god, okay, you know what? Too much. Gerard? How's it going, Jesse? You know, pretty good. Pretty good. So can I call my first witness, or? Oh, uh, duh. <laughs> yeah. Great, thank you, Your Honor. The defense would like to call its first witness to the stand, a guy who actually kept it low key and played No Man's Sky a few hours a week since its launch. That barf. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Pause. Did you just speak to me in Corvax? Pause. Oh boy. Okay, so you'll have to forgive me because the only language that I speak is English. So with that said, what has your experience with No Man's Sky been like? It has been positive. Yeah? Positive how? After a few months, they begin to add things. First, small things like bases and vehicles. But then little by little, things got bigger. Really? What else was added? Anything? Um, yes. Actually, lots of things. Like ship and weapon specialization. And permadeath mode eventually came in too. And then finally, Atlas Rises. I'm sorry, uh, Atlas Rises? Like I said earlier, I don't speak Corvex. <laughs> oh, no, no. Not Corvax. It's an update. B one. Last fall. It's added all kinds of stuff. Like 30 hours of story, tons of Misha, double the law, rifts, and portals started appearing all over the galaxy. Trading became way more interesting. They added new exotic world types and deepened the biomes that were already there with better graphics. And you can now shape and mold the worlds around you with a new terrain editing tool. That sounds like a lot. I tell you, it's changed me. But all of that was nothing compared to joint exploration. It's not 100% amazing yet, but on paper, it's 16 players that can meet up and see each other in space and talk to each other over voice. Amazing, truly. I can't even conceive of that happening in a universe as big as this. But when you say the game isn't 100% amazing yet, are you implying that you'll feel that it will get better in the future? Pause. Pause. Uh, yes. I, I do. I came to this game to escape and relax. But it got bigger and deeper, and suddenly I'm living my truest life inside the simulation. Yikes, okay, you know what, I'm good. We're gonna call it right there. I'm gonna put a pin in it. I know exactly where to do that before it gets too weird. And that was the moment right there. No further questions, your honor. Internet, you may cross-examine my witness.
All right. How you doing, you old pirate? <laughs> Get it? Like, like Lando. I, I got it. Right. So it wouldn't be a stretch to say that you've liked this game from the beginning, and that in your opinion it's only gotten better, right? Eh, for the most part, I wasn't exactly jazzed about it at launch, but I will say that sticking with it has been very rewarding. I mean, it is only a team of 16 people, and not all of them can even be developers, right? Hmm, I guess not. But then, what do you have to say to all the people who weren't happy with it at first? Like, the people who gave up early? Sure, the people who gave up early, whatever. What do you have to say to them? Is it worth coming back to and starting over? Like, if your game got erased, is it really worth coming back? Mm. Objection, your honor! This guy's a witness, not a professional games critic! I'll overrule, don't be such a cranky pants. If we can't ask someone who actually took the time to play the game how it was, who can we ask? Fine, I guess that makes sense. As you were saying. Honestly, I was just going to say, I don't really know. Hmm, interesting. And why not? Well, in my mind, there's really two kinds of people, you know? But one thing that will never change about this game is that it's never going to be anything like the real experience of traveling through the stars. And either you have the imagination to have fun with something like this, shout out to my bros at r slash no man's high, well, you don't. And I don't think there's a magic feature out there that's uh, instantly gonna change anyone's mind. So... That's just a nice way of saying no, right? Kinda. Yeah. Oh, oh come on! No further questions, your honor, your honor, we are popping bottles. Order! Pop. Order! Drart! We need you to be a big boy now and put this case to rest. Oh, we'll rest it. I'm not happy about it, but I'll rest it. And we'll hear all about it in your closing statements. Who's first? The prosecution, Jesse. Uh, don't you mean sir? Sorry, uh, the, the prosecution, sir, Jesse. That's it. So close to sire. All right, prosecution. Let's hit the ground running. Right on, sir, Jesse. Oh. Hi there, folks. Didn't see ya. It's me again, the internet. Good to see. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the way I see it, the long and the short of this case is that it's well established that No Man's Sky bungled its launch with outrageous amounts of unchecked hype, and that it took a year of underfeatured, underfun gameplay for it to even begin looking like something worth playing for the average person. I also happen to believe that the evidence shows a development team that didn't take responsibility for the way its game was being marketed to the public. But even if you shelve that aspect of the argument because no one technically said anything provably misleading, leading, the sum of all its parts will never match the dream they irresponsibly sold us, and the game we have still isn't even that good anyway. Just be honest with yourselves. If No Man's Sky was actually a good game, wouldn't there be a bunch of people playing it a year after? Now there's no way for me to check PSN right now, but Steam? Hey, as of February 2018, the average was set at just about a thousand. Now, that's pretty good for a local band, but for a big name video game? They got a feature at E3 and a cover on Game Informer? Pure rat shit. That's what that is. A thousand people playing? Right now, I have streamed for a thousand people. Burping, I've just burped through a stream for a thousand people at like 3 a.m. It was me and I assume Iceland. Uh, so Gerard, I mean, I guess it's your turn, but that's huge. That's huge. I Have I mentioned I like to burp? All right, I guess we're just gonna wait to see what you have to say, my dude. I hope it is inspirational as always, because pfft. that's my plan, Your Honor. Here we go, everybody. Even though I feel like I am taking crazy pills. When I was a kid, like a real young kid, all I ever did was eagerly watch my dad drink alcohol. Now, I was young, and I didn't know why I wanted to drink, and I always thought everyone who drank at parties in the movies and on TV were so cool. But whenever I asked my dad if I could drink, if I could get a taste of that coolness, 
You know, we say, not until you're older. Not until you're older. So I waited. And finally, when I was like 18, and I finally put that first stinky glass of vodka to my lips, without ever even thinking about things like classiness or tolerance, I finally braved the burning fumes for my first sputtering sip. And all I did was cough up a bunch and then eventually throw up. It was awful. I didn't blame the alcohol for my disappointment. It's not alcohol's fault, it's bitter and stinky, you know? It's literally fermented. And look, if by the time I was 19, alcohol started to taste awesome and be good for me and make you feel all tight all the time with no downside, I'd probably be still drinking that all the time today. But it isn't, so I just don't, you know what I mean? Hold on, uh, are, you, are you saying children should drink alcohol now or even younger? What? No! Ted, how did you? Okay, look, all I'm saying is anyone who cared enough to be burned by it knew exactly what they were getting with No Man's Sky before it even came out, and yet they chose to hold it up to standards of their own anyway. And by the time Hello Games even finished following up the plan they had been telling us about from the very beginning, nobody was willing to check and see if the game got better before they continued saying it was bad. And again, I am not a professional critic here, folks, but I know bad logic when I see it. Now that we've heard from both sides, it's up to you who wins the case. Has No Man's Sky redeemed itself one year later? Or is it too little too late now that the $60 damage has already been done to your wallet? Use the info card in the corner to vote for who you think is right, and we'll see who won at the sentencing. Coming next month, it's, that's, that's really happening. Next month, for real. If it doesn't happen, hold it, call Gerard. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. Hey. I can fly. If I just pray.